Um, all right, the injuries for the game. Jordan Mason will be questionable. Ray Ray, questionable. Eric Armstead, questionable. Go ahead. I thought those guys looked today uh, getting out there and doing a little limited work. Uh, they look limited. Fair enough. What's one thing about the Eagles that keeps you up at night? Um, almost everything. A real good team, really good offense, really good defense, really good special teams. So it um, goes back and forth. Well, Banks is even on the, on the list. We mentioned before he played when he more, might not have under ordinary circumstances. So obviously he had no setbacks at all, right? He's, he's ascending. Yeah, I think that game really helped him, you know, because you never know until you get into it. And uh, he made it through it, um, didn't have any setbacks. So it gave him a lot of confidence. And then the long weekend, by the time we came in here Monday, it was feeling real good. Guys make a claim on Jack Ertz? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, and this is a question in relation to the early in the NFC Championship game. Whenever a team uh, has a play like that pass down the field and, and you don't have a clear replay or angle, but the team rushes to the line of scrimmage, have you thought about how you'll handle that in the future? And that, did that play, will that influence anything you guys do moving forward? That play didn't. Um, I mean, I handle it the same way I always have. You know, when they rush to the line, if it's a big play and you don't have any clue, I throw it. I think I did that earlier this year versus Jacksonville. Um, I think it was Jacksonville. Do you remember? Don't. No. Um, I threw one, and then I think we ended up getting a pick a couple of plays later. Um, the problem with that one is nobody's, everyone on our headsets thought he caught it, and then they showed something on the replay that looked like he caught it. And so then we didn't care. Some people go hurry up after an explosive. Sometimes on offense they do it just to be safe. But then we had no reactions or anything, so we didn't want to waste a timeout because the replay we saw, the way we thought they were acting, from everyone who saw live from our side, we thought it was complete. And then when we had the ball next time, I hear from upstairs, they just saw another angle. It wasn't complete. So nothing changed there. If we don't know at all and it's a big play, I usually throw it. Um, we just thought he caught it because of what we saw and the fact that no one live from where we were standing knew it was questionable. It doesn't work both ways where a team will rush to the line of scrimmage even if they definitely they have the, you know, they made the play just to try to do something. Yeah, that's something teams do just automatically. Sometimes it gets you to waste a timeout and sometimes because after an explosive, sometimes it's the best to run down there and go real fast because the, the defense isn't quite ready. What do you think about Nick Sirianni? It makes him a good head coach. Um, I mean, watching how accountable he has this team, how hard they play, um, the style they play. And I love the commitment to the run game that they do on offense. I think that's one of the coolest things. It's not just that they're committed to the run, but they know what they're doing too. They, they know how to use the quarterback as a runner. They know how the adjustments defenses have to make. Um, and then they know when they are making those adjustments, how to use them as a passer. So it's got a lot of respect for them just schematically and what they've done there. And um, don't know him the best, but Bob Lang speaks very high of him, so he must be a cool dude. Much schematically with two new coordinators, or are they doing the same things? Um, no, they're doing the same things. Um, and just, like, just like I've explained with us, always when you have different coordinators, a little different personality, and sometimes you can see that, but not what they do is what they do, and um, they're really good at it. Uh, after last year, the championship game, you and your players uh, kind of had the same vibe of like you guys were really excited and prepared. You had a great plan for that game. I realize these are new, kind of new teams. It's different. But do you have similar emotions you know, for this one? Yes. I mean, very rare that we haven't felt that way. Um, especially, I think, then we were on a, a big win streak in the NFC Championship game. So we felt the same way going to that game that they felt. And probably as the two AFC teams felt, everyone was real confident at that time. And um, you know, I think that's what we made a big statement on. I mean. It's the, the the one thing that was weird about that game is none of us had been in a game that lost all your quarterbacks, um, and that's what was a little different. But besides that, uh, I thought it would have been a real good game. Um, doesn't mean we would have done anything, um, but we were excited to play in it. And you go back and watch the tape. I love how we played. Um, the intent of it, just we were ready for it, but didn't go the way we wanted to. The MVP has become kind of a quarterback award. Do you think Christian McCaffrey has made himself a legitimate candidate for that honor? Yeah, I think, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I know it goes to quarterbacks the majority of the time, but, um, and there's plenty of worthy quarterbacks, but you definitely can't ever 
I can't say that they're behind. That it, I mean, that Christian's behind anyone. I mean, he's as valuable to in this league as anyone. You can get you both in. It'll be. I don't. It won't still be relevant next week. <laughs> Their uh, linebacker situation, uh, and they're down to backups starting. What is your assessment of you know who, who you guys are going to face? Um, I mean, I know when you have injuries, it's always a challenge. I mean, it happens to us at positions throughout the year and throughout plenty of years. So it's just part of football. Uh, you know, they're going to play their best guys and they're going to play in the scheme just like the other guys do. They're not going to make up a bunch of new stuff. So you find when you get out there, you don't go back and really evaluate all those guys, but um, you just get ready for their defense. Right, you want your sneak your next one in? All right. All right, well, you only get one next week then. All right.